Okay, so we're starting at six years. Um, Leanne, can you draw a picture like this one here on the paper? All right, so because she got the um, PM12 question wrong, we moved back one and now we're at PM11. So Leanne, can you draw a picture like this one here? All right, so because Leanne scored a two on PM11, then we're moving back one to PM10 so that we can establish the basal level with three consecutive twos. So watch what I do, Leanne. All right, now you do it. Make it go up and down. Now make marks like these. All right, so now we're at PM9, so she just needs to get one more two for um, her to establish her basal level, so. I'm building a house. See me build the house? Okay. All right, see if you can build the house even higher. So now we've established the basal level. Now we can move on to establishing the ceiling level. So we go to PM 13 because um, that's up one from our starting point where she got a one score. So now we'll try to do the ceiling level and get three consecutive zeros. So Leanne, can you draw a letter like this one here on the paper? Now make a letter like this. Now make one more letter like this. All right, so Leanne got a zero on PM 13. So now we're moving up to PM 14. Um, can you draw a picture of a person? Make the best picture of a person you can here on this paper. Make a picture of mommy or daddy on the paper. All right, so because Leanne scored a zero on PM 14, now we move up to PM 15. So if she scores a zero on this, then this will establish her ceiling level. So write this number on the paper. Can you write that number on the paper?
So Leanne scored a zero on PM15. So we have established her ceiling level, but if she had scored a one or a two, then we would have kept moving up until we scored three consecutive zeros to establish the ceiling level.